A warm wind blows gently from the hillside. The birches and the pines stand strong and green. Their branches sway so tenderly in the sunlight, like they're dancing with the waters of the sea. Your breath glides across it. The glassy waters ripple at your touch. I marvel while all creation stands in glory, harmoniously existing. I feel a rush of something swelling up. Reviving what is died, inviting me to joy. Welcome everyone. We are so excited to have you joining us this evening for the ninth annual Together for Life Banquet in support of Star of the North Maternity Home. My name is Jill Mickelson and I co-host the morning show on Life 97.3. And my name is David Lenari and I've been involved with Star of the North Maternity Home for two years at the board level. We're absolutely excited to have you here this evening and it's my special privilege to introduce to you Congressman Pete Stauber for a special message. Hello, I'm Congressman Pete Stauber. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the Star of the North Maternity Homes Virtual Banquet. As the father of four beautiful children, I believe all life has value and must be protected. That's why I am so inspired by the incredible work being done by Star of the North Maternity Home. Since opening, Star of the North has done an excellent job serving vulnerable mothers across the Northland and helping them to choose life. My wife Jody and I had the pleasure of touring the Star of the North facility at the beginning of 2020, where we saw the important work that you all do firsthand. Star of the North provides young, vulnerable mothers with a soft space to land throughout the first months of their baby's life. And perhaps most importantly, Star of the North seeks to support all mothers to independence by providing them with the education and other vital life skills that they need. They help mothers choose life, and they help transform young lives for the better. Since Star of the North Maternity Home has offered hope to so many throughout the Northland, it is imperative that our community supports them in this mission. To the great staff at Star of the North, please know that I am so grateful for the work you all do every day. And please know that you all have my unwavering support in this mission. You are doing God's work. Thank you. Thank you so much, Congressman Pete Stauber, for that special welcome. And now we'd like to welcome Father Anthony Robleski. Father Anthony is the rector of the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Rosary in Duluth. 
and he will lead us in our opening prayer. Let us pray. God of life and love, to you we entrust the cause of life. Look down upon the vast numbers of babies seeking to be born, especially those of the poor and homeless whose lives are made so very difficult. Grant that all who believe in your Son may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to all the people of our time, to all the people of our community. Give us all the courage to bear witness to our faith, together with all people of goodwill, to build a civilization of truth and love. We especially lift up to you this day the star of the North Maternity Home. Look with mercy and love upon all who reside there, upon all the staff and volunteers that make Star of the North a place of warmth, love, and acceptance. Give us all generous hearts that we can continue to create a welcoming place for those who have no place to lay their heads, that they may give life and safety to those new sons and daughters you have created. Help us all to know that when we help others to give life to their children in security and love, especially those women whose lives are lived on the margins of society, we are doing the work entrusted to us by your Son. We beg you to bless this virtual gathering and bless the Star of the North Maternity Home. All this we ask through you. Amen. Thank you, Father Anthony, for that prayer. As I said before, I'm with Life 97.3, and the past few years, Life 97.3 has done the Northland's largest baby shower. That was my first introduction to Together for Life. And I'm really grateful to see the way that new moms and their needs can be met through organizations like this. So I'm grateful to be part of tonight. And speaking of needs, we do have the virtual a -thon, meeting some needs for Star of the North Maternity Home. We are trying to raise $60,000 for a down payment. And when you go to the website, you'll see that listed as the capital campaign that you can give to. And this is going to be purchasing the She Is Home. And due to the generosity of many donors already, we have already raised $33,560. So thank you so much for your support. Tonight's support also goes to operating the Star of the North Maternity Home. And we'd also like to thank, give a big shout out to the major great donors that we have in the past year. Also, in addition, all the auction and drawing donations are truly appreciated and from our generous business community. Please don't forget to support them whenever you have an opportunity. We thank you for that. It is due to the generosity of these sponsors that all the proceeds raised this evening go directly to the Star of the North Maternity Home. We have a special auction tonight. A big thank you to Ray Higgins for helping us feature these items. Bidding is open through May 9th, and you can bid at togetherforlifenorthland.org. Item number one, Wild Rising Day on Stone Lake. It's a $400 value, and it includes wild rice breakfast and lunch for four, available from August to September of 2021. Licenses will be the responsibility of the successful bidder. Donated by the Fall and McLernan family. We'll start the bidding at $100. Buy it now for $400. Delta Airlines gift cards, a $1,000 value, two $500 gift cards to be used for the purchase of airfare on Delta, donated by Melissa Mackey and TJ Johnson. We'll start the bidding at $350. Buy it now for $1,000. A Schultz Lake fly-in, a day on Schultz Lake, float plane fly-in with dinner and sunset pontoon boat trip for four. It's available from July through September of 2021. It's donated by the Fishbach, Foucault, Opac, and McLernan families. A $1,000 value. Bidding starts at $350. You can buy it now for $1,000. The Duluth Getaway, a $500 value. Get away from it all in beautiful Duluth. A package that includes a one-night stay at the Radisson Harbor View Hotel in a Lakeview room. 
two adult, two children tickets to the Great Lakes Aquarium, a four-pack of tickets to ride the North Shore Scenic Railroad Zephyr Train on a 75-minute excursion along the shoreline of Lake Superior. You get a $100 gift card to the Boat Club Restaurant in the historic Fitker's Inn as well. It's all donated by the Radisson Harbor View Hotel, the Great Lakes Aquarium, the Boat Club Restaurant, and the North Shore Scenic Railroad. We'll start the bidding at $175. Buy it now for $500. The Second Lake Escape. It's a $500 value. It's a two-night stay at a cabin on Second Lake near Willow River with one case of Kettle River Pizza and a $25 gift certificate for the Vintage Pub. Estimated value $500. And I want to tell you one more thing. Last year's winning bidder says the folks that donated this item, Ken and Lisa Waletska, were very accommodating and it was a great time. So be the winning bidder on the second lake escape. A year of pizza. It's a $550 value. And who doesn't love pizza, especially when it's crafted locally with only the finest ingredients, including real Wisconsin cheese and premium meats. This is your opportunity to have a year's supply of pizza in your own home. Five cases of pizza, 12 pizzas per case, in the flavors and style you like, all donated by Ken and Lisa Waletska. Buy it now for $550. Bucks. Fun on the range, a $400 value. And only on Scenic Lake Vermilion can you enjoy a getaway that includes a night stay at Fortune Bay Resort Casino, including a $50 gift card to dine at the Sunset Steakhouse, and a $100 gift certificate to Pier 77 Mini Golf and Ice Cream. Fortune Bay Resort Casino offers year-round fun, including a bevy of lake activities such as pontoon rentals, boat rentals, complimentary non-motorized rentals for all the guests, Boys Fort Cultural Center and Museum, RV Park, and a 173-room smoke-free resort that includes an expansive indoor pool, an outdoor sun deck, indoor jacuzzi, kiddie pool, sauna, and small workout center. Pier 77 Mini Golf is nestled in the North Woods by the shores of Lake Vermilion. It's a mosquito-free one-stop shop for an afternoon of family fun. 18 holes of mini golf, each with a unique Northwoods theme. Navigate your way through buoys, log cabins, and a giant mosquito. And in the end, you'll compete against a giant fish for a chance at a free game. All donated by Fortune Bay Resort Casino and Pier 77 Mini Golf. It's a $400 value. Buy it now for $400. Family Fun Night, a $50 value. It's a basket packed with everything you need to host your very own Family Fun Night. A two-movie DVD, candy, popcorn, card games, and more. All donated by Chris Dahlberg at Dahlberg Law Firm. We'll start the bidding at $10. Buy it now for $50. And now we have a great opportunity for an auction item to purchase 10 square feet for our new home. Now each house, we have six of these available, is $1,000. And one of these houses has a special prize. Thanks to Burnix, they've donated a Yeti cooler and 25 cases of beer for your next upcoming event. And if you purchase one of these houses, you'll find out May 9th at 5 p.m. if your house was the one with the special prize. You can purchase on our website, togetherforlifenorthland.org. We are so excited about all of the auction items that we have available tonight, but don't forget for $100, you can buy a square foot in our new home. And now, please welcome the facilitator for the National Maternity Housing Coalition within Heartbeat International, Mary Peterson. She started Maggie's Place, which has grown from one to several maternity homes in the Phoenix, Arizona area. Hi, friends in Duluth, Minnesota. I'm here from sunny Arizona. My name is Mary Peterson, and I work on a national level with maternity homes across the country. I'm so excited to send this message of support and encouragement for your good work happening in Duluth. Uh, the work of maternity housing is so important, and Star of the North is a great example of that work across the country. Not only are we impacting brain development and child development issues, we're helping long-term preventative health care, and it's a great pro-life witness for the long-term care of uh, vulnerable pregnant and women and children. I hope you have a great evening uh, is celebrating the good work that's happening in Duluth uh, and know that you have my full support and blessing. God bless you. 
What a great message from Mary. Thank you so much. And don't forget, tonight is all about fundraising. But of course, as we go along, we want to have some fun with this as well. And so we are starting round one of our Beverage Bazaar. So the way this works is with a donation of $100, that gets your name in the ring to win a drawing for one of these beverage baskets. Now, the name and the winner will be picked May 9th at 5 p.m. Thank you to our generous donors. Joe, what a great idea for drawing the Beverage Bazaar. <laughs> Hopefully a lot of people participate in that one. And now let's enjoy a beautiful musical performance from our friends Taylor and Tanis Gonzagas, who supported Star of the North with a COVID concert. <laughs> Tonight we are going to be doing some different drawings. To be eligible to be a winner for one of these drawings, you need to be a registered auction bidder. If you are not, you can go to togetherforlifenorthland.org and register, and winners will be randomly drawn May 9th at 5 p.m. and they'll be notified. Tonight we've heard about how we can get involved, but let's take a minute and hear a little bit about the why of supporting tonight. Gianna Neepkins is a senior at Marshall High School and she was able to meet our moms. And she's actually the creator of the testimonial videos you'll see tonight. First is Courtney's story. Please listen in. Actually, I was in a domestic abuse situation with the father of my baby, 
and um, I had been told by the housing specialist about Star of the North program and that it was a home that I could go to and be safe and receive some help and information um, on different programs that could help me um, throughout my pregnancy. Um, Star of the North has meant um, a safe place to call home and um, just, you know, support and connection to different resources um, that have helped me, you know, find an armed worker that's helped me get to my appointments and help me get stuff that I need together for when baby's here. Um, some of the main things that I've learned since I've been here is um, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and um, that I can do this on my own, um, that I am loved, that um, my baby and I are safe and that my baby can still have a good life. Um, yes, I've gotten out of my abusive relationship I was able to get an order of protection against him, which was really hard um, to break out of that situation. I didn't have any support, um, any family, um, anybody, any friends or anybody else that was a healthy support. So I was able to get out of that. Um, I've been able to maintain my sobriety while I'm here and get the counseling and um, other resources that I needed help with. Um, I think that it's, well, it's needed um, to keep this house running. And I don't know what I would do without Star of North. Um, I was at, you know, Safe Haven Shelter before here, and it's not the same thing, you know. Um, I think it's important to have a specific, um, help specifically aimed towards pregnancy with those specific resources and that support. Um, and just a safe place to live. Thank you so much, Courtney, for that story. It was so moving. And now we are going to hear from Ray Higgins on some more auction items. And I think, Jill, that we have additional items from what Ray has. We do. We have some new items, and if you'd like to see them, you can visit togetherforlifenorthland.org. Pamper yourself, a $50 value. We all deserve some indulgent self-care, and this basket is it. Pamper yourself with a $40 Duotone Salon gift card, Calgon bath beads, and your own five-piece bath set. We'll start the bidding at $10. Buy it now for $50. It's all donated by Chris Dahlberg at Dahlberg Law Firm. A night for two. It's a $70 value, and whether you enjoy this basket in your own home or take it to a romantic setting of your choice, you'll surely enjoy a night with that someone special in your life. Included are two bottles of North Shore Winery wine, a corkscrew, wine glasses, and aerator. Plus, Rabbit Wine Preserver and Merci Chocolates are all in the basket, all ready to go. It's a $70 value. We'll start the bidding at $20, and it's donated by Chris Dahlberg at Dahlberg Law Firm. A custom-made fire pit. It's a $250 value. You'll want to cozy up to a fire in this beautiful, custom-made fire pit from Exodus Machines. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, nothing is better than a campfire or a weenie roast whenever you're in the mood. We'll start the bidding at $100. You can buy it now for $250 and is donated by Exodus Machines, LLC. Got junk? This item's for you. It's a $200 value. It's a gift certificate from Twin Ports Trailer Trash, good for seven yards of whatever you need to get rid of, excluding hazardous chemicals and products. They're the best in the area. I can tell you I've used these guys myself. Their professional crew will arrive ready to haul away your unwanted items. Simply point at what needs to go, and they take care of all the heavy lifting. We'll make sure we got everything and even sweep up before we leave. We'll start the bidding at $75. You can buy it now for $200, and it's donated by Twin Ports Trailer Trash. Promote your own business. It's a $1,200 value, a full-day sponsorship for your business on Life 97.3. You craft the message and pick the day, and it will air repeatedly throughout the day. 
What a great way to connect with your existing or potentially new audience. It's donated by Nikki Corbin at Life 97.3 Radio. We'll start the bidding at $200. You can buy it now for $1,200. A Polaris jacket, a $130 value. You can go out in virtually any weather with this fashionable soft shell jacket, size large. It has a removable and adjustable hood and pockets for all your gear. You'll be ready to hit the road. We'll start the bidding at $40. It's donated by Duluth Lawn and Sport. You can buy it right now for $130. A Biscotti subscription, a $100 value. Handcrafted in her kitchen, Northern Gourmet by Mrs. D, these beautiful, tasty biscotti can be yours for four months of your choosing. Each month, you'll receive 13 biscotti in two mouth-watering flavors. Perfect for your morning coffee and afternoon snack or as a gift. Past flavors have included double dark chocolate peppermint, caramel toffee crunch, espresso mocha chip, and many more. It's donated by Natasha Deneau, Northern Gourmet by Mrs. D. We'll start the bidding at $25. You can buy it right now for $100. Sauna basket, a $125 value. Everything you need for a relaxing sauna. Thermometer, water dipper, essential oils, and soap. No better way to rejuvenate yourself after a long day or just to relax and enjoy. It's donated by Duluth Stove. We'll start the bidding at $40. You can buy it right now for $125. A Grandma's Marathon His and Hers Gear Gift Basket, a $100 value. The Grandma's Marathon Gear Basket features two Grandma's Marathon fleece line jackets, two Grandma's Marathon short sleeve t-shirts, two pairs of Grandma's fit socks, two Marathon race wraps, which can be worn as face coverings, two ceramic mugs, two decal stickers, and a canvas picnic bag. Jackets, shirts, and socks may be exchanged for a different size. All donated by Grandma's Marathon. We'll start the bidding at $25. Buy it now for $100. Folks, thank you for your generosity. To all the folks who donated these items, and especially to all the folks who made the bids and the successful bidders. Your support of our cause helps the families that we're trying to help in our area immeasurably. And your dollars are much appreciated. Thank you. Don't forget that for a donation of $100, you can purchase a brick for our new home. And for $100, you can be entered into our Beverage Bazaar drawing, which will be held Sunday, May 9th at 5 p.m. Now a big thank you to Les and Beth Hazelton for tonight's entertainment. Some say love, it is a river that drowns the tender breeze. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to some say love, it is a hunger, an endless aching need. I say love, it is a flower, and you, it's only It's the heart afraid of breaking that never learns to dance. It's the dream afraid of waking that never takes the chance. It's the
Thank you so much to Les and Beth Hazelton for sharing tonight. And don't forget, you must be registered as an auction bidder to be eligible for the drawing. And the drawings will be held Sunday, May 9th. Winners will be announced. One of our successful residents who completed all four phases of the program, she's now serving as our night shift coordinator while finishing her associate's degree in human services. She continues to help other moms and raise her beautiful baby, Lila, who just turned one this past week. Thank you, Krista, for sharing your story. I was staying in the domestic violence shelter and I heard that there was a, a maternity home. I had no idea what it was and I didn't think they existed anymore. Uh, so I Googled them and um, it looked like a perfect fit. So I called and interviewed and eventually got in. It has been a year and a half of safety and security and um, I've grown a whole new family, it's kind of like a foster family of people who just want the best for me and my baby. I was a couple months pregnant when I got here and I had the baby and we're still here and she's known everybody here since she was born. It's really beautiful. I have learned how to have accountability partners. That was really scary and I didn't trust anybody. Um, I tried it out. It works. It's okay and um, I'm getting my goals done a lot faster than I was on my own. I have grown in my, um, I don't know, kind of my overall comfort with life and because my basic needs are met. My housing and my food and my, the basic things, those needs are met so I can focus on doing the therapies and keeping healthy boundaries and working forwards in my life. You know, it's just a beautiful opportunity to gift somebody else with some support in their dark hours. Thank you so much, Krista, for sharing your story. And now I'd like to introduce to you a very near dear friend of mine, also a very near and dear friend of countless others, a person who uh, is an inspiration for us, Father Ben Hadrich. Father Ben will provide the annual appeal for Star of the North Maternity Home. In a special way, we come together through the Star of the North Maternity Home. Through my prayers, I want to offer the prayer I offered this morning today, the morning prayer in the breviary. And I offer this tonight in a special way for ask for your donations for a new home for the maternity home of the Star of the North. God, our Father, look upon us with love. You redeemed us and make us your children in Christ. Give us true freedom and bring us to the inheritance you promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And please uh, seek your heart through God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit of any donations you can give for the house for maternity, Star of this North. And we thank all of them for their opportunity to be open for life. Many new children through their wombs to the world. Praise God and may I know my prayers for you all. God bless. Thank you so much for that message, Father Ben. And don't forget, this is how you can partner and support this organization. Don't miss out on your opportunity to be able to do so tonight. With your donation of $100, you'll be entered to win one of our Beverage Bazaar baskets. Drawings will randomly be done May 9th at 5 p.m. And we want to say a big thank you to our sponsors. We have so many great items that you have a chance to bid on tonight through May 9th. And you can go to togetherforlifenorthland.org to bid. And now we'd like to introduce our District Deputy of the Knights of Columbus, Bob Spihar of the Monsignor O'Shea Council at Cathedral of Our Lady of the Rosary in Duluth. And Deacon Paul Seaver is also District Deputy of the Knights of Columbus and a member of St. Raphael Parish in Hermantown. They are working together to support the Together for Life Collaborative through their upcoming fundraising efforts. Please welcome Bob and Deacon Paul. Hello, my name is Paul Seaver. I represent the Knights of Columbus, an organization founded in 1882 to support groups that were countercultural. In 1882, Irish and Italian immigrants were discriminated against simply because of their ethnic heritage. Um, families often found themselves without a breadwinner as uh, men were uh, uh, died early in their in their lives and uh, and families were left um, without a means of support. And so the Knights of Columbus uh, stepped in to uh, financially support these organizations. And so today we find ourselves in our current culture uh, helping organizations that again are countercultural. Um, Pro-life organizations such as the uh, Maternity Home and the Women's Care Center uh, aren't getting any funding from government groups. As a matter of fact, most of our culture would uh, prefer to see them just go away and, uh, and um, just support the abortion culture. But we as Catholics and Knights of Columbus stand up for life. So we're organized in the uh, Duluth area. We have 10 councils attached to parishes and um, we're one of the few organizations, again, that stand up for life. Recently, we had two fundraisers. Last spring, shortly after COVID uh, came and, and joined us, uh, we did a fundraiser for the Northern Lakes Food Bank. And in about uh, a month and a half or two months, we were able to raise $8,000 in the Duluth area. Um, after Thanksgiving, we decided we'd, we'd do one for the Union Gospel Mission in downtown Duluth. And we were able to, uh, in less than a month, raise $7,000 for that organization. So we are hopeful that um, our collective efforts here, uh, once again in the Duluth area, will be able to generate financial support for these most, uh, these most worthy um, organizations. So tonight uh, we are uh, announcing that our next fundraiser uh, will focus on pro-life um, and that uh, we um, are supporting groups that uh, through a partnership of the T Together for Life Northland, uh, like Paula said, uh, specifically for the uh, Women's Care Center and the Star of the North Maternity Home. And uh, in particular, um, we um, are doing this uh, with the 10 councils in Duluth, which can make a much more significant impact than we can uh, of any one of our councils. So we're asking our 10 councils to uh, donate to the Knights of Columbus members to uh, raise enough funds for these organizations. 
and uh, we will then be opening up uh, uh, this to the parishes that we support so that the uh, congregation can write checks to the, North, North, uh, to the Knights of Columbus and uh, just put them in the collection boxes so we will have them um, to our organizations to present a check to uh, the collaborative and the, uh, the two organizations. Um, we ask you for your help to um, help us in this fundraiser. And together with you and the 10 councils in Duluth, uh, we should be able to raise a significant amount of funds to uh, get donations to help these organizations. And um, the parishes that the, our councils support, of course, they will uh, uh, are welcome to join us in this and we open it up to everybody in the parish to write the checks to the Knights of Columbus so that we can uh, get these donations to the organizations. Thank you, Bob and Deacon Paul. Now, please welcome Tom Shayer. He serves as part of New Hope for Families, the new nonprofit serving as foster homes and pro-life action ministries. He leads the street counseling mission here in Duluth. Thank you, Dave, for that introduction. And I just want to say before I close in prayer here today that uh, it is awesome to be able to offer um, help with housing to moms that are on their way into the abortion center. And uh, so that is one very tangible way that we benefit uh, at Pro-Life Ministries of Duluth in, uh, in, in our, our ministry there out on the sidewalk. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for your provision of a home. I thank you for your eternal home that you are um, preparing uh, for your faithful saints and for the many rooms that Jesus is preparing there. And I pray and intercede, Lord, on behalf of uh, this fundraiser and the, the resources for Star of the North Fraternity Home, God, that you would open up the doors to a home here in this city for moms and for children, for families, God, and for future generations. Thank you for cheerful givers. Thank you for sacrificial givers. And thank you for generous givers, God, through these events and uh, these opportunities. We pray again, Father, that you would bless in return those who have given now. And we do praise you, God, for um, this event. Thank you now that uh, as it comes to a close, we can anticipate, God, the great uh, forward progress that will be made through the resources and through the connections made here tonight. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, what an exciting evening. Right, Jill? Right. Thank you so much to our volunteers, staff, the donors, churches, business supporters, as we work to achieve our goal of moving to a new home we own and to try to reach our goal of $60,000 for that and also to keep our home operating. Remember, that the auction will remain open until May 9th at 5 p.m. So you don't want to wake up May 10th and realize that you missed it. So May 9th at 5 p.m. is your last chance to be part of the auction. If you would like to learn more about the Together for Life Northland Collaborative Partners, you can visit our website, togetherforlifenorthland.org. Good evening and be kind. Thank you so much. I was born in the path of the winter wind I was raised where the mountains are old Their springtime waters came dancing down I remember the tales they told The whistling ways of my younger days Too quickly have faded on by but all of their memories linger on Like the light in the fading skies River, take me along in your sunshine Sing me your song ever moving And winding and free You roll an old river You change an old river 
it's you and me, river on down to the sea. Well, I've been to the city and I've been back again. I've been moved by some things that I've learned. I met a lot of good people and I called them friends. Felt the change when the seasons turn. I've heard all the songs that the children sing and I've listened to love's melody. I felt my own music within me rise like the wind in the autumn trees. It's you and me, river, run down to the sea. Someday when the flowers are blooming still, someday while the grass is still green, my rolling water and flow into the open sea. So here's to the rainbow that's followed me here. Here's to the friends that I know. Here's to the music within me now. I will sing it wherever I go.
Yeah.